Welcome everyone to Throwback Gaming's Heart in the Woods Demo Let Play, Part 1. This is a visual novel in the form of a uh, Yuri fantasy where the main character, uh, Maggie, which is her, and her best friend, Tara, go to investigate this paranormal um, event that has taken place, or rumors that has taken place, in the middle of the woods. And when they get there, Maggie encounters this ghost girl, which is this girl right here, and she tries to figure out what happens to her, and she ends up bonding with her. And based on what I've seen so far, it seems like a really good game, and I'm interested to see how it turns out. And of course, as always, if I play the demo and I like it, some point down the road I will end up playing the full version. But, in order for me to do that, i got to find out how the game turns out, so let's jump in, shall we? Start. In this demo, you have the option to enable some adorable chibi guides to bridge the gap between scenes, provide context, and inform you of assets that are subject to change. Okay. We think they're pretty great, but if you just prefer to play through the scenes themselves, you have the option to turn them off. Oh, enable them. Yes. Oh, okay. I was like, what? <laughs> Tara. Hey, it's me, Tara. Or rather, a cutesy, significantly more remarkable version of Tara. And me, and with me, as always, my equally marketable co-host, Maddie. Thanks for the compliment. I'm touched. We're going to be your guides as you play through this demo. Oh, that's adorable. Given that the scenes are going to, given the scenes you're going to see jump around a bit chronologically, we're going to provide some context to help make sure you have the best possible experience without exploring the entire game for you. Always love playing games without spoilers. Also, if the devs don't have an asset done or something like that, we're going to tell you in advance so you won't be wondering why one of us is wearing an outfit we shouldn't be. Speaking of which, this scene takes place in our apartment. Why are we wearing a huge winter coat? For someone who gets her hair dyed at a salon, but insists on cutting it in the bathroom herself in order to ensure she has complete control over her own unique style. <laughs> I love Maddie. Love Tara too. I don't think you have any right to lecture me about fashion. I think she's adorable. Like... They both are with their personalities and whatnot. Besides, this scene isn't going to be the fi in the final game. Huh. So, oh, maybe she's talking about what's going on right now. Besides, this scene isn't going to be in the final game. It would be a waste of space to allocate time and resources to something that's only going to be in the demo, don't you think? <laughs> Those faces. <laughs> I love it. Alright, so now for the actual game play. Tara. So up next, we got Bigfoot Forever who asks, are you single? I roll my eyes. We always get a few comments like this when we do a live stream. They never seem to bother Tara though. Yes, but only because I'm saving myself for Nessie. <laughs> I love it. Next. As she looks at the next question, her eyes widen and she her mouth turns up into a worryingly smug grin. Our next question comes from Damn Good Coffee. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. This game also has some curse words and some um, suggestive themes. And if that stuff bothers you, please click off the video now. I forgot to mention that. I'm very sorry. But uh, back to this. Um, Dan Kodafi asked, is Maddie single? Oh no. <laughs> As she turns off frame to look at me, I instantly raise my hands up in protest. She did. <laughs> Tara, don't you dare. 
Before I can finish my sentence, she leaps from her chair and grabs my arm, pulling me towards her and nearly knocking the camera off in the process. <laughs> I love them both. As the shock starts to wear off, I struggle to get away. It's no use. Her vice-like grip is impossible to escape from. She's like, you're not leaving me until I get done with this. <laughs> hey! You think someone as cute as her would have a girlfriend by now? Oh yeah, that's another thing. I think they're both lesbian. I know, I'm pretty sure she's lesbian, and I th think Tara might be too, or she's bi. But yeah, so, good things to know. Also, if that bothers you, please leave right now, because <laughs> that's what this story is about. It's a romantic um, visual novel type of thing. So yeah, anyways... Tara, I swear to God, I will cut you. <laughs> Don't cut anyone, seriously. I continue to fight in vain to escape, but she's locked in. But she's available, lady. She's still got a chance. I'll pass any love-filled confessions on her, uh, onto her, I promise. Please do not do that. <laughs> I love it. Her bit finished. She lets me go and I retreat to my chair. She knows I hate being on camera. I feel that. <laughs> but I suppose it can't be helped. When she's in the zone, nothing can stop her. It's impressive in its own right. I know, I think she could be like a journalist or um, a reporter. Let's see. Clown Princess 20 asks, what's your favorite West Coast cryptic? The Frisco Nightcrawler. I don't know what that is. It's just pants. It's just walking pants. I love it. What? This can't be real. They had, there's, I mean, okay, fair enough. I guess it could be a thing, like an actual legend, but what? Walking pants? <laughs> Hang on, I'm posting a link to my video on it. Take this opportunity to educate yourself on what's really important in life. Exactly, walking pants. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at the clock, I motioned for her to wrap it up. We still haven't gotten to the trip details. Okay, looks like we got time for one more. Vanassen says, Tara, what's the gayest cryptic? Her mouth widening into her trademark grin, she jabs her thumbs towards herself <laughs> before pointing two fingers out towards the camera. Me, obviously. <laughs> okay, maybe she is, maybe she is just lesbian. Watching the chat on my phone, I can't help smiling as I see the feed flooded with hearts and tiny rainbow flags. She always knows how to finish strong. That's adorable. Once the chat starts to calm down, she puts on a mock serious face, pursing her lips and furring her frown slightly. If I'm being honest, it's probably the closest to actually being serious she could ever possibly get. <laughs> Now then, the reason I've all called you here today is to give you details about me, about mine and Maddie's upcoming trip too. She looks at me for help. I don't even know why we bother rehearsing details. Eisenfeld. Eisenfeld! I give her an absent-minded thumbs up, not looking up from my phone. Someone has to handle the actual logistics of this thing. Obviously, this isn't our first supernatural expedition. You all remember our incredibly thrilling Mothman hunt. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pass on the Mothman hunt. It sounds a little sketchy. <laughs> you mean running around West Virginia in the dark and nearly getting arrested for trespassing without finding a shred of evidence? Shh, don't say anything, man. They're not supposed to know that. <laughs> I wouldn't say we didn't find any evidence. I just think it's impossible to verify whether or not what we found was in conclusive proof or not. If you say so, Tara. Anyways, the reason this trip is a little different is because we're going to be gone for a while. Our host, Morgan, shout out to you if you're watching this, Morgan, was kind enough to offer us an extended stay in the area to make sure we take in every last bit of magic the forest has to offer. The remainder of time commitment, oh, time, yeah, time commitment fills me with a wave of regret. I really should have put my foot down harder when I said I didn't want to go. Taking a week-long trip here and there is one thing. 
But to uproot and move to some cabin in the middle of the freezing wilderness is a big ask. Even for her. I don't blame her. Seems too, too, I mean, not realistic, but too, um, too rustic for me. <laughs> but I suppose, given the circumstances, this would at least soften the blow. The other big difference for this trip is, and I hope you're all bracing yourselves, we won't be uploading any videos until we get back. <gasps> no. I watch her try not to smile as crying emojis fill the chat. Nothing more validating than knowing people are going to miss you while you're gone, I suspect. I, I guess. But I promise we're going to bring back something that'd be worth the wait. As she launches into an in-depth history of supernatural forms forest phenomenon, I tune out. I've got much more immediate problems to think about, namely how the hell am I going to keep Tara and Tara in check during this trip? <laughs> Obviously we're the responsible one and she's the fun social butterfly. The last thing I need for her is to cause trouble while we're stuck in the middle of the woods. The train comes once a month and that means that things go south that could lead to weeks of headaches and awkwardness, or worse. It'd be so much easier to just let her go off on her own, let her clean up her own mess. I'd give about anything to stay back here, even if it would be significantly more boring without her around. But cleaning up her mess is basically my job description. For now, anyways. No, Sasquatch sightings are typically reported in more mountainous areas, but I'll keep an eye out for one. <laughs> oh, one last thing, and this is very important. While I'm gone, just remember that I seriously do love each and every one of you. None of this would be possible without all of you. And not being able to have you all part of my life for a whole month is going to be as hard for me as it is for you. Another flood of hearts and pride flags. Aw, that's adorable. I can't help being a little jealous of the fact that she can say stuff like that and actually mean it. I can't imagine being that invested in something like this. Yeah, but I mean, this she enjoys this. This is like part of her livelihood, you know? She's passionate about it. Even if she's probably overestimating how important she might be in these people's eyes, I'm sure it still means something to them. I'm sure it does. Maybe not as much as she thinks it does, but it's still important. You know, they watch weekly. They're um, loyal follower, followers. Just another reason for me to feel guilty about what I'm about to do. What are you about to do? I suppose I'm thankful that I don't mean as much to them as she does, or this would be even harder. So until I return... Stay spooky, everyone. She waits for one last burst of reverent comments before ending the stream. The responses are probably exactly what she was hoping for. We love you, Tara. Please don't go, Tara. So cute. No wonder her ego is as massive as it is. Much as I hate to admit it, I'm sure I'd be in this. I'd be the same way. She flicks the camera off and leaps from her chair, clearly still filled with energy. Okay, let's get this thing. Oh, let's get ready for this thing. What do you mean? Well, for starters, I need to start packing. You haven't started packing yet? We leave on Monday. Oh yeah, you're right. I can pack then. Tara, I'm about to smack you. No. Do not wait until the day of to start packing, especially if you're going to be gone for a month. No. Pack now. <laughs> this is me in real life. <laughs> Fine. Her burst of energy now efficiently redirected. She starts dashing around the room, randomly grabbing clothes off the floor and throwing them into a suitcase. I need to stop letting her leave her laundry in my room. <laughs> That's a good question. Why is her laundry in your room? It's not your room. <laughs> I mean, it's not her room. <laughs> it's funny. All right. Do you know where my meds are? Really, Tara? Really? You don't know where your meds are? That's one of those things you really shouldn't have to ask me, you know? <laughs> That's kind of important. <laughs> oh, I feel that. She's like a little kid. Like, she's the fun one, but she's not very serious. She needs us to keep her in check. <laughs> Do you, though? Okay, first of all, if I knew, wouldn't I just tell you? I let a long sigh and rub my temples. I guarantee you that terror-induced headaches are going to be the death of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
It's one of those love-hate relationships. She's like, she's her best friend, she loves her, but she also hates how she's irresponsible most of the time. They're downstairs in the kitchen on the counter. You know, why aren't, why aren't we just together? Because, like, we take care of her, she takes care of us, like, you know? <laughs> You're the best manager ever. The words hit me like a slap across the face, my stomach nodding with guilt. I still haven't told her that I'm quitting after this. Oh, that's what it is. She wants to quit. Mm, don't you dare. I keep meaning to, really, but I just know she's not going to understand. She's going to take it personally. Well, yeah, you guys are best friends. And you're her partner. Well, her business partner. There's no way I can tell her I'm quitting without her thinking that there was something she could have done to stop it. True. I just can't wait until we're already out there to tell her this is going to be the last time I can, I'll can i do this with her. I had to do it beforehand. Well, this is going to end well. I should just do it now, get it over with, tell her about school, not her. it's about school, not her. Tell her I'm conflicted about the whole thing, and it's not something I'm taking lightly. Tell her that I just need to move forward with my life. Hmm. wonder what's going on. Not that any of it would make a difference. Hey, Mats. Huh? Are you okay? You just kind of spaced out for a minute there. She's having like a panic attack in her head because she doesn't want to tell her. Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. Just thinking about the trip. You are such a liar. You and me both. It's going to be so awesome. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it will. With that, she's off again, nearly vibrating with excitement as she tears the room apart, grabbing all sorts of random items that are apparently extremely necessary for the trip. <laughs> random things. Oh, this looks good. Let's take this. Oh, that looks good. Let's take that. She has no idea. She's just grabbing random stuff. I can only imagine what she's going to do with her own room. I can't tell her now. I don't want to ruin this moment for her. Tonight. Maybe. Or tomorrow. This, you know what's going to happen? She's not going to end up telling her. And then she's either going to tell her in the middle of the trip or something, and that's going to cause a big problem, or she's not going to tell her, and then it's going to work out, and she's going to be glad that she didn't say anything. But she's probably going to end up telling her on the trip when something significant happens, and it's going to end up being bad. I just hope that at least a part of her understands. Chapter 1. A Winter Wonderland. Okay. Um, we're going to stop here. So I think this is a good place to cut off since, you know, this is a new chapter. And I don't know how long the demo is. And I don't want to get too far into it. But I hope you guys liked it. If you did, like the video. Subscribe to the channel to know when videos new come out. And I'll see you next time when we continue this demo. Because I'm really excited to see what happens. I really like the character so far. I really want to see how the trip turns, well, see how far the demo goes, I'm not sure, but I want to see how things turn out. But, until then, I'll see you next time. Peace out.